Redskins today on Fox. Dallas is 5-5, five and five, one game behind Washington in the NFC East. Dak Prescott said earlier this week, quote, it's just another must win for us. For the Redskins, Alex Smith, he's out for the year, so Colt McCoy will start at quarterback. Shannon, simple question, who wins today? Cowboys. I know you thought I was going to come out here and tell my pick the other team. No, I'm not going to do it. Mm. I'm not going to so be. You're trying the reverse jinx. Mm. Skip. The jinx effect, it will not work today, but keep trying. You know the Cowboys mm. should win this game. Mm -hmm. Washington is down mm. two offensive linemen. Mm. They're out. Trent mm. Williams, their best offensive mm. lineman, is questionable. Mm -hmm. Paul Richardson, receiver, he's out. Mm. Jamison Crowder is questionable. Really? And you're playing Colt McCoy. Mm. That's, now, they are in Dallas. Mm -hmm. Now, if this was a rodeo, uh, the guy I want, mm. Tuff Hedeman, he's retired. Or oh, Colt. Mm. I'll give me old Colt, but this ain't a rodeo. This is a football game. Mm. And you know there's a reason why Colt McCoy has been a career backup. Look, I'm not saying Alex Smith is Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady, mm. but he's better than Colt McCoy. Mm. So the likelihood of you going on a short week, having mm. to travel with backups, at, I mean, think about it, Skip. What can the Cowboys do as good as anybody in the NFL? Mm -hmm. Get to your quarterback. And now they're going to be doing it against backups. Come on. No. Hmm? No. But here's the first thing. shoe, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. It does. It, mm -hmm. it, it bothers me. Yeah. That they, they, they got this break. They, they're yeah. feasty. Yeah. If I'm Dallas, I do everything I can to get Zeke going early. Mm -hmm. And I don't want this team hanging around, be there in the fourth quarter with a chance to tr think they can win this ball game. Mm -hmm. And that's what normally happens, Skip, is that you are like, oh, man. They know. That the Washington's without two offensive linemen, possibly three. Mm -hmm. They know they're banged up. Yep. Their quarterback's out. Mm -hmm. But what you don't do is that you don't fall into that trap. You, you don't, don't lay down to what's going on with them. You had a you had a great run so far in the last two games. Mm -hmm. You go on the road, you beat Philly. You go on the yep. road and beat uh, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Now, hey, who knows? Atlanta might not be as good as the Maybe not. Washington. Maybe not. But Zeke's the answer. If you look mm -hmm. at the games they won, mm -hmm. look at Zeke's touches. Sure. Look at Zeke's yardage. That's, you got it. They've gone back to the realization, um, mm -hmm. home team, mm -hmm. Kenny, yeah. is that, you know, we can try to spruce this thing up and mm -hmm. make people think Dak is Jerry Goff mm -hmm. and Patrick Mahone boys mm -hmm. or he's Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. But in order us, for us to be successful, mm -hmm. two one need to be doing this. Mm -hmm. And when he's doing this like this, mm -hmm. drops that ball and does that, mm -hmm. oh, good things happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, the real good things happen. Mm. Yeah, so if feast. Yeah. Feast. And so it's Thanksgiving. Yeah. You let him eat. Yeah. Let him have third helpings, fourth helpings. As many you as he him. wants. Yeah. You let he gets him eat done. figuratively. Yeah. You don't want him eating literally. <laughs> I, I know because I think he does that literally and he partakes of some I of the think. things you enjoy. Some what do of that you mean? candy. Just yeah. occasionally. I expect Zeke to Two have pieces. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. That's before well, moderation. You, that's before yeah. you got to work. But anyway, Skip, I expect Zeke to have a big day today. Yep. You expect him to have a big day. And I expect him to win. I expect him to win by at least 11 points. By 11 points. Yep. So, I'm going to lay this right here on our Thanksgiving Day table. I don't want no bet. No bets. Okay. If my Dallas Cowboys can't beat a Colt McCoy who has not started <laughs> a football game in the National Football League in almost four years, if they can't do that, then they do not deserve to win the NFC East. They do not deserve for us to be even talking about them on this show because a week from tonight, they play New Orleans at home. So if they somehow let Colt McCoy do it to them again, as he did on October 27th, 2014, on Monday Night Football when he beat them 20-17 to 17 in overtime by going 25 of 30 for 299 yards, if they allow that to happen today, I'm out because I can't defend that anymore because they would not be made of the right stuff. And obviously they wouldn't be mathematically eliminated, but if they're going to fall to five and seven after the New Orleans game, mm -hmm. you tell me how many more games can Washington lose because they would have a commanding lead after mm -hmm. today if they steal this one. Right. And I, I think it would have to be a steal that they would pull off. So I believe they will get revenge on Colt McCoy today because they just should. They should win this game. Yeah. I believe they'll get revenge for that robbery 
that transpired in Washington back on October 21st of this year when some referee got away with calling a false start on my field goal snapper, who is a 14-year veteran who did exactly, he handled the football exactly the same way he has for 14 years before he snapped for that. He did not do anything to it. He didn't tweak it or twist it or flinch it. it. He didn't do anything. And they threw a flag because somehow Jay Gruden had implanted in the backs of their minds that somehow he's tweaking the football in the, in, in the illegal way. He was going to miss it anyway. Okay? He wasn't going to miss it from 42, and he had to. He missed it from, what was it, 47. 47. Yeah, it went five yards. Well, it could have been five the other way, right? So the point is because the Redskins just jumped off sides, right? The kid from Alabama just jumped across the line of scrimmage. They are going to right the wrong on that today. In fact, I'll just say this. That was a 2017 game also. So it's been 20 to 17 Colt McCoy and 20 to 17 in Washington this year. I'm going to say that my Cowboys turn the Thanksgiving Day table on the Redskins and win 20 to 17. And I told you. I, I'm telling you, I have respect for the Redskins defense. You didn't say one word about the Redskins defense. You talk about Colt McCoy. You talk about the offensive line. The Redskins defense is fifth in points allowed. Is that good? Yeah. But yeah. You got that. You know what? They got grit. They got backbone. They, they scratch and they claw and they fight. And this is, to me, this is the best rivalry, historical rivalry in pro football. I know you played in some great ones. I don't know. We can go Packers, Bears. Okay, that's a good one. It's it, it, that even predates this, but I don't think it has the the animosity, the hate that this one does. Mm. This this is just back and forth, and when you least expect it, the underdog wins in this series. So they are they, they opened it as a nine point underdog, and it got bet down quickly to seven. I think it's right around seven mm-hmm. right now. It could get bet down before game time, lower than that, because that's too many points. So I think the Redskins will cover, and I think the Redskins will try to do it with that same blueprint they did it back in 2014. Because remember, they dominated time of possession on that Monday night, 38 minutes to 29 minutes, because it went overtime, obviously. And the Redskins, thanks to Colt McCoy, were 7 of 15 on third and fourth down. He, He knows how to play. He will not crumble today. He will not choke today. He will not lose his poise today. He's played in a lot of big games in college and pro football. And he's just about as valuable a backup quarterback as you can have in this league. So he will be Colt McCoy. But I got a pass rush, and you got to get after him. You got to knock him off his spot. He's going to try to dink and dunk you to death, dink and dock you to death. Yeah, they got back. And guess what? They got backup. So Demarcus Lawrence and Gregory and Crawford going against backup. Okay, you got to get after him. You got to hit him hard early and get him a little discombobulated, just a little bit out of sync, out of whack. Because the night that he lit them up, you know, who he was throwing to, he threw six balls to Deshaun Jackson. So you had a viable deep threat. And I'm not sure they have Deshaun Jackson on this roster. No, they do not. Um, And I don't know if they can throw enough balls. Jordan Reed is healthy. I don't know if they can throw enough balls at him to uh, to, to sustain this. Well, if I'm Washington, Adrian Peterson, I'm going to try and establish him. I'm going to try to control the clock, keep the Dallas offense off the field. All right. That would be the blueprint. So what was the blueprint in Washington back on October 21st? Guess how many yards, my man, Ezekiel Elliott. How much was he doing this mm. on that day? How about none? Yeah. He, he carried yards, it right? 15 times for 33 yards. Do the math on that. That's barely over two yards a carry. That was just on October 21st. Yeah. But guess who wasn't there? There was no Amari Cooper, so there was nobody to open up anything. And so the Redskins said, you just can't have him. Right. And what happened? Right on schedule with 4.55 left in the game, Dak is trying to do too much with too little because he has nobody getting open. And he holds the ball too long in his own end zone, and it gets knocked out of his hands for a touchdown. He gave them seven points, and all of a sudden it was 20 to 10 Washington. Then what happened? Dak turned into the warrior I think he is because he is made of the right stuff. And he wound up throwing in the fourth quarter alone for something that you thought was not possible. 120 yards he threw for just in the fourth quarter. Yeah, he had 40 going into the fourth quarter. Okay, well, whatever. But he threw for 120, and guess what? He put them in position to kick a field goal to go to overtime. Is that good? Yeah, it was procedural. You know, y'all jumped off sides. It was not. But yeah, no, he moved the balls. He did not move the ball. Washington jumped off sides. So my kicker, who goes a little north and then a little south, and I don't trust him at all. Maher. He's Brett the fret. That's what I call him, Brett Maher, because he makes me fret. <laughs> and I'm going to be fretting today if it does come down to a 2017 field goal, and it just might. It's not going to come down to that. Uh, uh, the Cowboys should get somewhere north of 20. Mm. Um, easy. Yep. Yeah. So what's your score? Uh, I'm going to go 
He's going to go high. Go, go I'm, big. Go I'm big. Go big. You know what? You got to increase the 20, jinx factor. 27 13. 27 13. Ooh. I thought you'd at least go 30. 27 no? 13. 27. So you got to win them by 14. You got them covering the spread. I'm the betting. The spread is seven. I know. It's just what I'm saying. They doubling the spread. Okay. That's why I said you got them covering. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you got to win them by 14. I got them winning by three. But you have tried to jinx them and it will fail because they will win today. I, I am very Skip. confident that they can beat this team. I mean, really? I mean, with that, with. I mean, all those guys are out. At some point in time, they'll okay. up with you. So, my team just won at Philadelphia to your chagrin and won at Atlanta to your chagrin. You picked against them both times. Yeah. So did I, to, to be honest with yeah. you. And I'm surprised twice. My team is poised for takeoff. We have seen flashes of how good to great my team yeah. can be this year. And I think it's all starting to come together because the offensive line finally came back together. I do not want Connor Williams to come back from in injury and start at left guard. No. I just don't want to see it. I mean, he has to play, Skip. No, he, he does not have to play. He needs to play. Xavier Sua Fila. He changed life. You, get, you, yeah, get, you, believe you get one more week to mm -hmm. glow. Mm -hmm. uh, we want a three-game winning streak. Yep, that would but be starting Monday, yep. uh, it'll all yep. go away. And then here comes Drew Brees yes. on Thursday night. Yes. Yeah, there was that long ago time back in 2009 when they went down to New Orleans late. When New This is a different Drew Brees yeah, very with good. more weapons. Yeah. Yes. He is the MVP, but that's all. Nah, I don't see that. See, there you go. Yeah. Why you got to go overboard? I don't have to go overboard, but he is. Mahomes. But we'll see what happens. My team's got all the ingredients to be really good. So here we go. Yeah. Well, Just because you got the right ingredients doesn't mean the dish mm -hmm. tastes good. Yeah, well, we'll see. This yeah. is going to taste real good because you are going to see some of this. Oh, yeah, I see that today. Yeah. I see that today. Yeah. But I see Drew Brees. I don't know if he's jump in the Salvation Army basket or whatever it is but not if he had a, not if he had a big lunch or a big dinner <laughs> last night he might he not be able to <laughs> he jumped in that kettle that's true well we're going to move on to a different story that is